Hello, my dears. We use modal verbs to express deduction when we want to make a guess. Let's see a few of them. Look, Bianca is not here. She must be at school. Here, I make a guess. I know she is not here. And I am almost sure, 90% is yes, that she is at school. I can't be very, very certain, very, very sure. So I say she must be at school. When I am certain that Bianca is at school, then I don't use the modal verb. I just say Bianca is at school. So for 100% yes, this means for certain, when I am certain, I just use the verb to be. Bianca is at school. When I make a guess, when I suppose that Bianca is at school, but I consider it 90% true, then I say she must be at school. Rarej comes today, but he is late. He might be on the bus. This is 50% or maybe more than 50%. Here, I am not very sure that he is on the bus. I know that he, he comes today and I just make a guess, mm, a weak one, just, just 50%. And I say he might be on the bus. So for 50% yes, I say he might. I use the modal verb might. When I'm 100% certain, so I'm certain, 100% yes, that's, that uh, means I'm certain, then I say Rarej is on the bus. Now let's go further. Father or the father is not here. Where is he? I don't know. He could be in the supermarket. Once more, I am 50% sure. So it's 50% yes that he is in the supermarket. 50% it's no. All right. So he could be. I choose could. He could be in the supermarket. With 100% yes, so when I'm certain, then I say father or the father is in that supermarket, not could be or might be, is in the supermarket. Where is the father? It is so late, he can't be still in the supermarket. Here asks mother. All right, so he can't be still in the supermarket. He can't be still in the supermarket. Here I use can't. I choose the modal verb can't to, to express 90% no. He can't be still in the supermarket. No. It's a guess, but it's 90% no. When we express deduction or make a guess, we don't use must and as the opposite of must. We use can't, all right? So can't is the opposite of must when we express deduction. 90% yes, it's must. 90% no, it's can't, not mustn't. 50% yes is could or might. Let's see some exercises. Use must or can't, please. Andra isn't at school. Here I, I'm 100% certain, so it's yes. Andra, mm -hmm. now you choose at school and please use something, a modal verb, to express 90% no. Okay? So it's Andra can't be at school. Very well, bravo. Can't be. Now another one. All the children are in the restaurant. Here we are, we have 100% yes, so we are certain. Now, come on, just use a modal verb to express 90% yes. All the children mm -hmm, be in the restaurant. Come on, what do you think? Must be in the restaurant. So all the children must be in the restaurant. This is 90% yes.
let's go further. So we are here. Uh, the test isn't difficult. Here we have 100% yes, we are certain the test isn't difficult. Now please express uh, here a guess with 90% no, the test mm -hmm, be difficult. The test can't be difficult, exactly. So you're right, you said can't, the test can't be difficult. Now, where is Rarish? He is not here, Rarish, our dear boy. Rarish, he is not here. He is on his way when I am 100% sure. So I, I say 100% yes, he is on his way. But now let's use a modal verb. Don't forget a modal verb to express 90% yes. He mm -hmm, be on his way. He must be on his way. Great, you chose very well. He must be. Now, the pharmacy or the chemist isn't closed. We are here at, uh, we are here certain, 100%, yes. And then the pharmacy or the chemist, mm -hmm, use a model verb to express 90%, yes. Come on, it's a guess, a deduction. Mm -hmm. So the pharmacy or chemist isn't closed. Here we have 100%, yes, so we are certain. The pharmacy or chemist can't be closed. So it's 90% no, it can't be closed. Thank you, my dears.